Alright, so what's going on on my viewers, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And if you couldn't tell by the title on the thumbnail already, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an advanced crate shop UI using commands on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So quite a long while, uh, well, quite a long while ago, I uh, made a video um, on how to make a a cust um, a crate, um, how to make a crate like. Well, chess crate video, um, and this was taken from Dakin Black Rose. Obviously, I gave him credit. Um, this was taken from Dakin Black Rose, uh, but today I have figured out how to make a much more advanced one. Um, and obviously, I'll explain like all the commands. I mean, I know it looks like a lot, but trust me, it isn't really too bad. Um, and like, not not to big myself up. I don't mean to seem like I'm bigging myself up here. Um, but this is definitely one of the best crate systems done on YouTube. Um, I mean, obviously, you guys can be the judge of that, but personally, I believe that this is the best it gets. So I'm going to show you how it works, and then I'm going to show you the commands. Also, um, that crate video I said, if it gets like 20, 30 likes, and I'll make a new one. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I got quite a bit more than that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm finally releasing it. All right, so if I walk up to this loot crate here, you can see that I have I have the choice of taking basic, normal, or legendary. Okay, so we're back out. If I walk up to here, and I decide to take out basic. You can see it does an animation. Obviously, you can customize the animation you want. I kind of just did it like this because why not? And you can see that it has particles coming out of it. And then I take a stone pickaxe. And you can see, obviously, this is basic chest. However, and also you can see my money goes down on the side. However, if I decide, you know what? Mm, okay, I can do basic again, but now nah, I really fancy taking a normal chest. I open up normal. And bang, it does the exact same animation, otherwise, because I kind of just clone the chests around. Um, obviously, you can do whatever animation you want. But you can see I chose normal here and bang! Same particles, obviously you can change the particles as well. It's now normal chest and I get an epic diamond sword. And I can go back and I can choose it. I haven't set up legendary, so legendary isn't touched. Um, by default today I'd only do two um, as because I don't want a video being too long and I both, both the commands are pretty, pretty much the exact same. But yeah, so you can see that um, there I, I, I can open multiple different chests from this one loot crate you can even see it's called loot crate um how you do that is literally just name the chest in an anvil then you place it down and then it will name it the chest on the inside but you can literally see there that i can open if obviously um as well sorry where set up if i don't have the money so if i do scoreboard should have probably set this up before but i will players set rs money zero you can see that I have zero money and then if I try to take it out, it just clears it from me and it redoes the chest. See if I do it rapid it kinda of glitches a little bit, but that doesn't matter, no one's gonna really pay any attention. But you can see I'm actually trying to like drag it out and it just won't let me do it. So, firstly you're probably wondering why can't I take these out? Obviously it doesn't refresh, but it doesn't really matter. It will refresh once I take like once I actually do the animation. So this is just for decoration. You're probably wondering why can't I take out any of the glass? That's because of these commands here. So I'm going to start with the never star. So when I do the animation, let me just set my money to like 500 here. Okay. So um, if I take out basic here, you can see that I can't actually take out these never stars. Like it won't let me keep it. Like I'm trying to and it just won't let me. That's because this command block here, which is repeat on conditional is active, is constantly clearing. So the coordinates are always going to be the same. I'll explain them now. So x is 527, y equals 4, z equals 84. You can see when I stand here, it's 527, 484. The dx is minus 2, so you can see if I walk 1, 2, the dx goes down minus 2. Um, the dy is 6, just in, big, in case like someone's like flying, if you can give the, if you give them fly on your world and they do it from up here. And then the dz is um, minus 6 because they can only open it from 5 blocks away, so which is down to this wood here. You can see when I stand on this wood here, I can't actually reach it. However, when I stand close, I'm able to reach it, so it works from this distance away. So it's literally just a um, distance x, distance y, distance z. Um, depending on when this video comes out, that video would have already come out or it will be coming out after this. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it's just a distance x, distance y. So it only works when I'm standing on this wood. If I stand out here, you can see it doesn't actually work, the commands. But as soon as I go on the inside here, then it clears it and it works again. Um, obviously, you can up the, up the radius if you want. I've only done this because on a world, I'd like build a wall around this. So you can't actually reach it on the outside. And then what it's doing is it's clearing a never star one time with the data value of 10. So when you're giving yourself a never star, you do slash give is never star 110. That's because you're giving yourself one never star with the data value of 10. And when you're clearing it, you switch it around. So you're clearing a never star with the data value of 10. And you're only clearing it one time. Obviously, that's the exact same coordinates here for the lime glass, but it's just stained underscore glass 5-1, because lime is stained underscore glass 5. 
orange is 1, red is 14, and purple is 10. So what it's doing is if you don't want them to have access to the glass, these command blocks will constantly clear it from them. Obviously, if you do want them to keep the glass if they take out, then sure, why not? You don't have to set up any of these commands. I still recommend doing a never star one though, um, because it doesn't really affect it, because um, yeah, I use different data values for each never star, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but this is just clearing it. So now um, I'll start with the if they don't have enough. So if they don't have enough money here, you have a repeat on conditional active command and a scoreboard players test at P and then the same coordinates and then it's money 0499. So this is so the basic costs 500. So what this is doing is it's testing if they have the money between 0 and 499. If this is then possible, it's a chain conditional is active command, and then it's clearing them. They never start with the data value of five because the, the never start for the um, for the basic is the um, data value of five. What it's doing is it's then clearing a never start with the data value of five, and then it is then cloning this chest. So squiggly, squiggly one, squiggly, squiggly, squiggly one, squiggly. So the chest right above it to five two six four eighty three, which is this chest right here. So if they do have between 0 and 49 and then it's able to clear the basic never start from them, it will then clone this chest. The exact same up here, however now I am testing to see if it's 0 to 999 as this is the normal one and it, it costs um, and it costs 1000 so it's testing to see if there's 0 to 999 and then it's trying to clear a never start with the data value of 6 because the never start for normal is 6 and then obviously if I was doing legendary the data value would be 7. And it's just cloning this chest which is the starter chest um, there. So, as for starting the commands here, so what this is going to do is it's a repeat on conditional is active command and it's scoreboard players test at P and it's the exact same coordinates as usual. It's always going to be the exact same coordinates, but I'll keep saying it just so you know. And then it's testing between money, 500, and stars. So, this is testing if they have the money between 500 and infinity. Okay, once it's able to do this, then it's a chain conditional is active command and it's clear at P, the exact same coordinates. And it's clearing a never start of the data value of 5. And then once, just like this one, it said it's not cloning this time. So it's testing to see if they can kill the never star. Um, obviously, you can pause the video if you want to look at the commands. I just because this is going to be a long video, I don't want it to be really long. And um, then this is a chain initial is active command, and then this is them removing the money of 500. So scoreboard players remove at P, and then the coordinates money 500. And once it's able to do that, then it will set a block to 524493, which is here 524493, which will set off this system, which I'll get to once I show you these commands here. Obviously, if you're doing legendary, it'd be the exact same, but because I'm showing you both of them, um, I don't want to show three because the video is always long enough, like I said, and I don't want to drain you out and bore you. So obviously this one is just testing if they're between the money of 1000 and infinity. If that's possible, then it's chain conditional. It's clearing the never star of 6 to 1. If that's possible, then it's removing their money and setting redstone block to 524-1093, which is right here. So now these command blocks here is just a set block, squilly minus 1, squilly squilly air, which is repeat on condition on these redstone. So what this is doing is when the redstone block gets set here, it will set off the system, but it will instantly set it to air. And then this one is the exact same also, which is just this one. So these commands here, I don't need to show you as they're the exact same, like no matter what, as the ones above. Um, and what this is doing is once it's the redstone is setting off this system, obviously you can make it however long you want. Um, I just kind of did this. I'd re you can use tick speed, but I'd recommend using redstone for this as it's like a lot cleaner in my opinion. and It doesn't get jammed. But what is this is doing? It's just a command block and it's slash clone squiggly squiggly one squiggly squiggly. I know it's squiggly squiggly one squiggly 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 one squiggly five two six four eighty three. So what is doing? It's just cloning the chest above it all the way over to this chest here. Also, if you're probably wondering, I made the never star for the basic for the customization a different um, thing because if they take it out again, then it'll clear their money and restart the whole animation and it just glitches the chest for players. And uh, so if they don't realize it's really annoying, so I'd recommend using a different data value for that. So yeah, what this is doing here is just cloning this chest over here and you can see this one is the exact same, but it's just it's got the red and then this one is uh, orange, this one's green. Then it's red, orange, green, and then red, orange, green. And obviously all these command blocks are just the exact same, even if they're facing a different way. So once it's finally cle cleared this green one here, there's a command block here, and it's impost on conditional needs version, and it's slash execute at R, type equals armor underscore stand, name equals B. So you can see these armor stands here are called B for basic. And then what it's doing is it's a set blocking. So it's, uh, B, squiggly, 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 set block, squiggly, squiggly, minus two, squiggly, or redstone underscore block, which you can see would be setting it right underneath there. This command block is also the exact same. However, it is N instead because this is normal. Um, so it'd be setting underneath these armor stands instead. So once it's able to do that, then it will execute it once and it'll set underneath one of these armor stands randomly. 
these impulse ones here is an impulse on condition is redstone and it's set block squiggly squiggly one squiggly 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 one air so as you can see when i'm standing here it's 5194103 and when i move to the right you can see it goes 5194104 so what these impulse blocks are doing here is it's setting a redstone block underneath here to air and you want to add a delay in ticks of 20 so it's one second so these repeat command blocks can activate here which is the repeat on condition is redstone and it's slash particle minecraft.totem underscore particle 526583 so when i open the crate and it was done doing it then it would particle here which is 526 and then one block above would be 583 and what it does is because this is a delay in ticks in 20 the redstone will be there letting it grow and kind of show off a little bit and then once the redstone disappears then these um, will stop activating once again sorry if i'm going too fast but bear in mind it's already been 10 minutes of the video um, and I don't want the video being too long for all of you because I want to keep this nice and basic and you can pause it whenever you want either way. And then these ones are set in block and the particle the exact same. You can also make this facing upwards and add a chain condition is active command that makes a sound. Um, but I didn't do it because you guys can't hear my sound anyways. Um, so there's no point me adding it. But you can add that in your world if you want. So now we have the chest it's cloning. So this is the red one. So the like worst version is a wooden pickaxe. Then the second worst version is a stone pickaxe, and then the third, and then the best version, sorry, is a diamond pickaxe. And what this is doing is just an impulse on the digital redstone command, and it's the exact same as this one here. So it's just slash clone, squiggly, squiggly, one, squiggly, 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 one, squiggly. One second. Sorry, throws a bit dry. And then it's cloning it to 526483, and that is this exact same command block up here. Um, and obviously, uh, as you know, if I open it and I choose normal, then this one will trigger and place the redstone block there. And if this, and then if I choose basic, it will trigger and place the redstone block here. Once again, sorry if this video was a little bit fast, um, but I'm trying to keep my command block videos as like um, like limited as possible, uh, as like quick as possible. Obviously, I showed you all the commands. I kind of explained it to you. You can pause it whenever you want, and you can look at the system here and build it the exact same. That is completely your choice. Um, but like I said, no offense to Daco and things again for showing me the old version. But that compared to this is just so much better. This actually clears an item. As for this one, you can just walk up to it and it won't clear an item. So it's a lot cleaner and um, you can do whatever you want with it. Obviously, if you want it to clear an item, you can use that old method and kind of add it like, um, like, uh, like put it with this one. Um, and just use a data value for it. But I'd recommend using this version as it is the best version that I could find. If someone else has made this on YouTube, I'm sorry, but like, from what I've seen, I don't think anyone has, and I'm pretty sure, not saying I was, but I was like one of the first people to make the um, the custom, uh, the control panel UI that actually like works no matter what. Um, but once again, I'm not trying to be cocky, so sorry if I'm not, if like you have done this before me and you've got a link proof, etc. Let me know down below and I'll add it into the description. But yeah, that's why it for the video, guys. I hope you did all enjoy. If you did, don't forget to smack that like button. It's very, very appreciated. And let me know that you are enjoying the content on the channel and you want to see more. Always, if you're liking this kind of content, it motivates me to do more. And this is a banging command block video. Like this is like once again, I really love the chest UI videos. So obviously, this is one like one of my favorite ones to do. And it's, it took a lot of commands to do. Well, a lot of the exact same commands, which was kind of draining. But we got there in the end, and it's a nice video to come out with. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. It's very, very appreciated. Once again, it lets me know that you're enjoying the content on the channel. Push the subscribe for this kind of content. And it motivates me to do more command block block videos for all of you. Since I know that is what you all, all love. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I upload at 7.45pm GMT whenever I do upload a video. So definitely, definitely do not miss out on that. I upload some quality content that I feel like you all will enjoy. And I try my best to produce some of the best content on that I can possibly do. Um, so uh, make sure you don't miss any of the uploads. Comment down below what you want to see next week for the video. Any other ideas or videos you'd like to see on the channel, let me know down below and I'll try my best to make them for you all. Obviously if it's a command block video, if it's a marketplace game, if it's a different kind of thing on Minecraft, anything like that, let me know down below and I'll try my best to make it. But thank you all for watching. Have a great day for whenever you're watching this. This is how to make a custom loot crate, chest, whatever, with um a with uh, UI, sorry. Um, and this has been a long awaited since our last video, so I'm glad I finally got to make it. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day for whenever you're watching this. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one and goodbye.